and marijuana <laughs> crumble under dust as you remember silent hill 2 is 20 years old <laughs> i know it's terrible isn't it smaff <laughs> And with that, welcome to the VOD. Uh, I guess I'll start it there. Hi, thank you so much. That's so nice of you, Smaff. Um, what up, people in the chat? What up, Ker Hyphen? What up, YouTube? Um, I'm playing more of this to get more footage than I need for a different uh, video essay, but it's also about bullying the Maw. Uh, so, I'm just gonna be running through Silent Hill 2 a little fast. I'm no speedrunner. James, where'd you go? <laughs> you know, one of those, one of those feel-good, cozy games, Silent Hill 2. Should have held the door, James. <laughs> Rip to that lady. Anyway, this is the part that sounds like painted black. I see a red door and I... <laughs> Ooh. Can't hear it now. <laughs> Thanks for summoning Samus Aran far. I watched my dad play this multiple times as an older Aww. child, so it really is a comfort game. That's nice! <laughs> I see a red door and I... Black. Painted. Black. <laughs> Ahem! Thank you for subbing. Super cool. Anyway, it's getting... Let's get the heck on out of here. And see if I remember how to do the fucking, uh... Labyrinth. Alright, I gotta go to the director's office. Doi. Doi. I, um... Pick up the freaking key, ding dong! Man, these textures look so good. Oh my god. Look how nice these are. Holy shit. <laughs> oh wow, thank you! Uh, <laughs> not actually a real one. <laughs> it's true. Thanks, Cupid Head Love. Rip to a real one, not actually real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let her wrench. Let her wrench, I hardly know her. Um, there was an update to this Enhanced Edition, but I don't think I, um, I don't think I, uh, installed, it did, it did update itself, but I think you have to manually go to the website to, um, actually do it. So I don't think I, uh, actually updated. I think it was just like little tiny, little tiny fixes. This is an interesting little texture that, um, nope, nope, there. <laughs> That, um, picture. I've never noticed that picture before. The one closest to the camera. It's interesting looking. This is not official. This is a fan-made mod. Oh, I wish we could see this, uh, whoa. This picture, that'd be cool to see. Uh, yeah, this is a fan-made mob. Ma ba ba ba. <laughs> fan-made mod. And yes, it is good, because the fans actually give a fuck. <laughs> The fans do what Konami don't. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. <laughs> and Laura has run off somewhere. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Mary, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking? I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. That's my James impression. I think we're going down this way because there is an RV that has some goodies in it. <laughs> I think there's also a truck or something. Here you go. 
there was a health drink near a truck, but maybe I'm thinking of uh, someplace else. Something and someplace else. Oh, maybe it's this. Yeah, that's right, the PlayStation Store is closing down on the PS3. For some fucking reason. Man, I kind of hate, like, digital media sometimes. It <laughs> just guarantees that you never really own anything, man. I think the RV is a little bit later, actually. Up, ladies. Ah, this game's nice. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, you want to see Konami Burger? Or Happy Burger? I think it's over here. Maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe I'm lost. Ooh, look at all these health drags. Well, dang. <laughs> That's what I get for playing on easy mode, dude. Damn. Damn. Is it my birthday? Is it James's birthday? Happy birthday, James! Ah, <sighs> it's a nice. Whoa, whoa, Samus! What the hell? Thank you! Uh, oh my gosh! Killer! <laughs> That's cool as hell. Thank you so much. Freaking hype. <laughs> I could have swore that Konami Burger was here. Maybe it's on the other side of this this place I gotta go through. It's on Saul Street. Mmm, chubby begins. What's that? <laughs> K P P D A B K P P D A B K P P D A B. <laughs> yeah, man, you said it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if you if you look for Silent Hill three on like eBay and stuff like that, it gonna be money. It's hard to it's hard to find. Um, I'm also in the midst of replaying Control. I just beat it. Safe. Uh, two days ago. Tori! Thank you, Tori Wink. You want to see, um, the closers from Silent Hill 3? Because this is one of only two places they show up in this game, and they are called Mandarins. I don't know why. I don't even think, uh... I don't think they hurt you on easy mode. Maybe I'm full of crap, though. But there they are! Oh, they look so good. Oh no, they hurt you. They got spikies. <laughs> but yeah, they just recycled this, uh... They recycled this guy for Silent Hill 3 because you didn't really get to see him much, did you? They're fun, though. Look at them. Look at them monkey bar motherfuckers. Aww. Look at him go! The other world can be fun. They're so great. I love their mouth hands. Their spikities in them. They're great. Oh, they can hurt me. All right. I thought they. I thought. I guess they were just going easy on me for a second there. They're very cool. They only show up twice in this game, so they reused them. There's that RV I was predicting. <laughs> and yeah, you can never. You can never fight them. I think you might be able to shoot them, but I don't think they fall down or. I don't know, it doesn't matter, does it? I just wanna 
Look at all these textures. Wow, groovy. <laughs> the back of the, the headboard is so groovy. All right, I gotta make more saves now. It's official. It's a motorhome. <laughs> A recreational vehicle. Yeah, this is where the freaking Happy Burger is. Doy. Jeez, Void Burger. What are you thinking? What are you seeing? Don't know where the Happy Burger is. Shh. I can't wait to see all the textures on that on that thing. <laughs> the menu. I wonder if it's readable. Excuse me, miss. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, no, these, these textures are still little mysteries. Little mysteries to be appreciated. 99 cent sandwiches. What's wrong with them? <laughs> Queen's special. And uh, Konami Burger is in uh, Silent Hill 3, I think. But yep, there's Happy Burger. It's weird that it doesn't really have a drive through I don't know. Is this, is this the drive through Like, why is there just like a sign here? I don't know. <laughs> Wonderland Burger from Shattered Memories. What did the, the the Cheshire cat you could call their hotline? It's like, welcome to Wonderland Burgers. <laughs> it's like, this is what you think the Cheshire cat sounds like? Yes. Well, thanks for the hype train, everybody. How long into the game are we? Well, we are about an hour 46. <laughs> because... I think not counting pausing and stuff like that. Just just because uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to go fast. Um classic. Looks really looks nice. I th I think they might uh they they could probably make this look even better actually. So good. You can come here earlier. And it just says there's a hole here, but it's gone now. And if you come back again later, this is here. Like I said, I was speedrunning, but here I am going out of my way to show you guys things. <laughs> I can't help myself. It's my favorite game. Ow. Hit my freaking hand on the table. Wonderland Burger uses only the finest ingredients, sourced ethically, or something. <laughs> Just what a, what a stupid game that was, jeez. Mexican Open! <laughs> uh, it's just... I want a custom sign that says Mexican open for my Mexican restaurant. So you know it's a Mexican restaurant and it is also open. <laughs> Give me this thing. Do 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 do. Technically didn't need to read that, but whatever. Is this, uh, yeah, I could take Cat Street. Nathan Avenue has a big, uh, it's a big no-go area. I wish we could go on Nathan Avenue up here. I would love to see what the, the fire station and the church looks like. That'd be good. Never have we seen a, a fire station in Silent Hill, which is ironic. 
Because the less uh, with the with the fire. That's what I mean. Anyway. Forget does cats go all the way through in this dark darkened area? Oh, what's her story? Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. <laughs> yeah, look look up my VOD <laughs> on uh YouTube. I uh I played it and I lost my mind. Hmm. <laughs> Do you like bad writing? Well, I got a game for you. It's called Her Story. And have I got another game for you? It's called Shattered Memories. And have I got another game for you? It's called Isle. And have I got another game for you? It's called uh, Telling Lies. Yeah, I do. A lot of people think Her Story is good, and that's because they don't. They don't know. They don't know better. They they don't know that. Sam Barlow writes like a doofus because it's the first time they've encountered his writing so they don't know how cliche he really is and how much he uses the same things as a crutch and you know oh right war games war games is <laughs> also really bad and also doesn't exist anymore because it was an episodic game that did not get any other episodes and it was a streaming game so if you try to if you try to play it now it doesn't work because the the streaming where they hosted all of the um, all the videos that that that's gone. <laughs> what a ripoff, right? <laughs> Can you believe it? What a what a scam! <laughs> well, I got so many bullets, oh baby, oh baby. Probably don't need to use. I also have bullet adjust on, don't I? Oh no, I don't because I haven't beaten the game once. Can't, can't bullet adjust there. But hey, two fifty six. That seems fine. Now, contradiction spot the spot the liar was quite better, but the end just fell apart. The end sucked. The person who done it, it was just like figured out. It could have been figured out from the get go, and it had like nothing to do with all these other like incredibly interesting things that were brought up. Tons of red herrings. It was just like, oh, this person was jealous of the person who's dead, and that's why that happened. And we found out it was her, it was this person, because they used a specific kind of goofy decorative tape on a letter. And it's like, if someone just gave us that letter at the start, we could have just known that. Like, nothing had anything to do with that. <laughs> it just, it, it stunk like it ran out of money. All right, I have to dig it first. Will you dig? Yes, I'll dig. Yeah, it wasn't uh war game sucked. Like it was like it it not only was written like normal goofy garbage that Sam Barlow writes, but it just wasn't interesting. <laughs> like it's very boring. Oh, I didn't realize the key looks like looks like this. It's like a cylindrical key. Never noticed that before. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the place. The historical society. Oh, they hated Shattered Memories, too? Good. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people like Shattered Memories. And it's mostly because they, um... They don't play it multiple times, so they don't know how, like... Uninteresting the changes are. Like, the game is really, like, proud of itself for changing minor, very, very minor flavor things in the game. Um... And I think, like, people don't play it multiple times, so, like, how would they know how minor it really is? <laughs> is that the gif of, uh... <laughs> that fucking shitty kid saying, like, why so serious or something? Why so serious? Uh, it's doing it for the lulls. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, I wanted to check out these. Are these nicer looking? Mm, pretty good. Looks nice. Oh, that looks good too. Come on, funny shinny knight. 40? <laughs> shinny knight. Shinny night party. Come on, funny shinny night party. Wow. Cool. <laughs> is that is that the gift that I was predicting it was? No, something else. Ah, uh, I gotta pause. I gotta see the gif. <laughs> oh yes! Oh, drones, drones, drones. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Now I have to, I have to screen capture it <laughs> because the people watching the vod will be left out otherwise. Uh, window capture. No, that's the game, isn't it? Yeah, that's the game. Which is weird. Uh, I thought it would be game capture, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I need a new window capture, add source, uh, new source, browser, add source. Uh, do do do. You get to see all these cool things. All right, there it is. <laughs> Mary, no you're not. <laughs> what? Bam. Look at all that shit. Hell yeah. That's exactly what happens in Sam Barlow's games. <laughs> drones, drones, drones. Love it. Thank you again for reminding me of that Lord's map. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Comedy Claws. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Quiet cocktails in Silent Hill. Scree! Be right with you. <laughs> okay, you have a good one. I love how crappy the font is on Historical Society. This is the road where they yeet mannequins at you, but it's, that's earlier when you're uh, when it's not night or whatever, whatever you want to call what's going on here. <laughs> love this foreshadowing. It's the room you fight Mary in, or at least it looks very much like it. All right. Get to look at these textures, baby. Looks about the same. This one's easy to up res because like the art exists like out there. One of the best Ito works. Misty Day remains of the judgment. It's him. So good, so cool. Mm. <laughs> I love that there's just like a picture of very obviously like Japanese high school students. <laughs> At least I think they look like Japanese high school students. <laughs> Door. This fucking guy. <laughs> you never see him. The, the director of Brookhaven Hospital. Not an important guy, but he gets a portrait. Anyway, go go boil yourself a cup of tea or something. Because we're going down the long stairs. <laughs> Thank you, Mountain Roads. <laughs>
speaking of a uh, puzzle of flesh with that gif uh I don't know if you've seen me tweet about it, but Paul Morgan Stetler, the guy who played Curtis Craig in Puzzle of Flesh, he is doing like a 25th anniversary retrospective, uh, like a bunch of different interviews and stuff like that called Converse Conversations with Curtis. He's going to like be talking with like the other, the other folks that made the game, the director, I think, stuff like that. And he looks the goddamn same. Oh my God. If you watch this, these like little teaser videos. He's made, he looks like he's aged like five years, maybe, like not 25 years. It's kind of incredible. If I, if I get to talk to him, I'm going to ask him what, what his, what his secret is. What's your skincare routine, Curtis? But yeah, no date yet. I think it's supposed to be next month. I think like there's going to be another video that does the, uh, uh, that tells you the date. Oh. You were closer than I thought you were, Mista. Those were stairs down, by the way. <laughs> you almost got me. Um. Yeah, the dude has not aged. It's, it's freaking nuts. But, um. Go, go watch that teaser and share it around. I think, uh. He he uh, emailed me. Sweet guy, by the way. He emailed me asking to like spread the spread the word a little bit, and I was like, "Paul, I don't have a date. I don't have any details. <laughs> it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to get people hype when nobody knows any details." But yeah, you know, I still want to talk about it though because I'm uh, I'm excited nonetheless. But he seemed a little uh, a little bummed out that it hasn't gotten a lot of numbers. It's like, well, it's pretty niche. <laughs> the Crimson and White Banquet for the gods. These are great. These are up -rezzed. Death by skewering. Okay, you wanna you wanna be skewered or you wanna be strangled? This is your last choice, your last taste of freedom. <laughs> Those are just lying figures. To look at prison camp. This is up res too. Very nice, clear textures. Crazy. <laughs> Skewer or strangle? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Let's reload my gun. But yeah. Share, share that uh, video of conversations with Curtis. That'll that'll make him happy. <laughs> he is so polite. Oh my god, I'm like shocked at how like nice this guy seems. Especially because like, I know. Don't usually don't meet your heroes. You know, like <laughs> don't don't you know, don't even try to do it. They're gonna let you down. People are human. <laughs> They're always let down. Um, don't meet Guy Sihi. Don't meet James, for example. <laughs> He's a fucking freak. Uh, not a not a not a charming or nice person. Um, but you know who is fucking Curtis Craig. Gotta say, seems like a, a gem, a gem and a gent. Oh, this is the part where I can't fucking. It's just a wall. 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 It's just, it's just a wall. 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 Oh, this is different. I wonder if I can break it. This part made me reset the game first time I played it. It was great. <laughs> How many? Okay. Crow. The buckshot is crow. I like that they're all birds, but I think it's so funny that Penguin is the the handgun bullets. <laughs> Why did I fall? <laughs> did you see that? I fell. <laughs> Why did that happen? That was <laughs> That's not in the original, is it? <laughs> There's a little ledge. He fell. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh 
That last steps of doozy. I guess it is. James, you sloppy bitch. <laughs> now the party don't start till I walk in. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny. I don't think that's in the original. Just watch, they're gonna like mod that out and I'm gonna be like, no, don't! I love it! It actually makes James likable. <laughs> See him eat shit. <laughs> mm. I know I'm not supposed to go this way. Why not? Water looks pretty good. So, here is, um... A thing that Bloober Team stole. <laughs> Except it's way better in Silent Hill 2! Um, <laughs> the, um... So when you leave, when you try to leave this place... Well, when you get this, all these bugs come out of the ceiling. And you, you, your door is locked, so you have to guess the code basically they changed the, the they they stole the uh oh just guess the code you know by guessing you know you can see fingerprints and you have to just guess and there's an alternate solution but it's like and and it's actually like a puzzle if you do the alternate solution but it's like oh yeah i see where you get this idea hmm let's get in position because <laughs> the bugs will happen immediately <laughs> I wonder how the bugs are gonna look, because they <laughs> always looked kind of adorable and goofy. Is this thing out of batteries? It won't light up when I press the switch. This is the only reason you have the battery. Oh no! Goofy buggies! <laughs> so yeah. How about this? Nope. I do so enjoy <laughs> making butter. <laughs> Here's the thing Bloober team stole. You mean this entire game? Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, right. Lord Smith, yeah, right. Did I click that right? Can you click the other ones? Yes, you can. <laughs> I might have clicked five by accident there the other time. Um, how about it's, it's am I literally going to get the last possible one? <laughs> Help. Uh, what haven't I done yet? <laughs> I think that was like the last possible one. <laughs> was there maybe one permutation I didn't try? <laughs> Man, am I unlucky. That's fucking funny. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at this nice ass. Nice ass render here. Ooh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. The cylinder is engraved with spiral writing. Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. You should have you should have killed your wife and had no guilt about it, idiot. <laughs> uh, there's no alternate way to get out of that room, but the alternate way to get out of the the room that they uh that they repurposed that puzzle for in the medium is uh it turns out that it's a it's a four digit code it's a date it's a year and you can actually solve a puzzle environmentally that gets you that date you find out that they uh somebody got somebody a watch for their 10th anniversary and if you take the you can find the receipt for the watch or whatever if you take that receipt's year and minus 10 from it, you get their anniversary. And I think that's actually kind of a good puzzle, uh, but it's like not in the same room as you. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. Pow. So good. You, you get you can just you use ghost vision. Him. Yeah, that's but more intended to <laughs> See, he made me do it. It's pretty weak. Calm down, <laughs> to steal <Eddie>. a thing. <laughs> Tell me what happened. That guy, he he had it coming. Ugh. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. He 
Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Till now, I always let people walk all over This me. is self-care. <laughs> like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie. <laughs> Tone it down, Eddie. Him, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie. I think that's probably uh, the best acting that Guy see he d did in this game was sounding incredulous there. Eddie! <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Gotta make my chat a bit bigger so I don't have to squint to see it. That would be a clever thing for me to do. On my own screen, not on the... <laughs> the whatchamacallit, the stream. I gotta move this window. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Um, Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. <laughs> oh yeah, we knew it. Ah. Ooh, very beautiful tongs we've got here. The glutton plate. I love that the the guy is dead in this as well. The, the dead guy is on the lower right side of the image there. So he was dead when he got here. Case closed. Don't blame Eddie. <laughs> Died of natural causes. Can't live with all them bullets in you. It's the most natural way to die as there is, as there can be. Oh, it looks so good. Beautiful, beautiful textures. Looks like he's got a little magnet on his back. <laughs> uh, let's save. I know there's like a actual save thing in this room, but whatever. Um, where's this varmint? This is my United States of whatever. <laughs> what brings up what brings up that that song? I love that song. Uh, I'm skipping ahead. I should get the other stuff first. Badunk. Should get the wax doll first, I think. Oh, I said whatever in in a weird way. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Oh, there's the map. Give me that map. I am less, um, good at navigating this level than the hospital or the apartment building, but I will do my best. Give me the temptress, or seductress, not temptress. You missed! <laughs> like a gangster. Right in the back of the head, execution style. Damn. Look, James, another toilet. You wanna check it out with your hands? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Ah, da 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 da. Oh, what you looking at, boy? Okay. <laughs> Look at all these fellers. What? Oh, you defended your friend, huh? How noble! How adorable! <laughs> There we go. 
go. Come on, get that wax doll. Look at that, it's so cute. It's a... Uh, let's kill these guys. I think that's dead. I don't know. Die? I want to check out the big boy. The big boy that you can't see. He's fun. Good thing I have a jillion bullets. Yeah, this is the one that kind of talks. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Ooh. Ru -ru -ru. <laughs> Back to looking at the guy. Eh, it bled a little. I love that guy. You stay good. <laughs> you stay good, friend. <laughs> Mutual, yeah. <laughs> Mutual. <laughs> okay, it came through this door. Yeah. Time to get the rifle, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, it's soon though. <laughs> One of these places. Oh, I can't. I gotta come back. I need one more plate still. Oops. Good dodge, James. You might, you might think that was me patting myself on the back, but really, it was me being like, oh, thank you for doing the- for responding quickly to my input, James. You are a good boy sometimes. Ritual. I'll check out these textures. Oh, they look great. Mm-hmm. Burning Man. But it's the hotel we're going to later. Flying woman. Woman in flight. These are great. I don't think there are 436 people in that picture. I think that's uh, too many. I'm sure some nerd has counted it, but I am not that nerd. Another big boy. Which one is it? This one. I love all like the religious iconography. The oppressor. It's like, ah, who's doing the oppressing? I, I love this prank. This this game pranks people. Like, pranked you by throwing you in a well. It was the fir the first big prank. And now it's pranking you to thinking you're locked in here. Yeah, but you're not. You're fine. Okay, I gotta go. Get that horseshoe. Why is somebody alive in here? I stomped you. I hear one of your friends crawling around. Why this happen? This is another prank. Uh, the horse, the invisible horse going around the edge of this room. Truly, I thought there was, like, a boss in here, and I wasted, like, all my ammo first time I played. So I have a couple little boo-boos. Okay. 
Well, I didn't get to check out the, uh, seductress. Oh, yeah, looking sexy, lady. Or the oppressor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know why they're, like, Aztec in, like, basic design. But it's just one of those weird things. I'm surprised there isn't a puzzle here for, like, putting it in a certain order. Like, I don't think there's a puzzle here for that on any difficulty. The men's rights activist, yes. I remember. I remember that joke. Oh yeah, I'm going to fall off the scaffold steps a couple of times. Oh yeah. Uh, incoming arg noise. <laughs> I love these cutesy little pyramid heads. They're so adorable. How cute are they? I'm gonna fall off these gallows, you betcha. If I can even get up the stairs safely. Oh yeah. Ugh. James. Okay, let's let's do a big old fall. Ready? Wee. <laughs> let's do a forward one. Let's do a forward fall. Here I go. Oh. <laughs> oh. James deserves this. He really does. He's a bad man. Let's do a side, a little sideways one, huh? What? Oh! <laughs> oh! Love to see his man pain. Man, these textures look pretty dope. These look great. Here are my horseshoe. Now we have everything it takes to make a door knob, <laughs> a door handle for some reason. Stop respawning! Come on, guys. Give me a break here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the rifle in one of these rooms on the, the left left. Ritual or something. Actually, I still need to get the uh, lighter over here. Now I have everything that you need to make a door handle. Ah, yes, these timeless ingredients to make a door handle. Ah, it's got a Texas, <laughs> got a Buckeyes uh, label on it or something. Nice to catch you in the chat for once, Draco Del Mal. Yeah, it does sound like ritual. I don't know what it's supposed to really be. I, I like ritual. Like, why not? That's fine with me. Jump scare bathroom. Let's see if it happens, though. Because, um... One of these bathrooms, I don't think it's this one, I think it's the other one. One of these bathrooms has an RNG jump scare in it. Sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> it's just a noise of something like kind of like full body flopping against one of these doors really loud. Yep. <laughs> there it is. It almost always happens for me. <laughs> Pretty sure it's RNG though. I thought it was this bathroom with the save point in it, which isn't here in this version, wasn't there? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I'll just manually save. It's just loud enough that it still scares me when it happens, even when I know it's going to happen. That 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 noise is very uh, startling, and it waits just longer than you think it's going to wait. Oh, guys, please. Fellas, fellas, please. Oh, there's an ampule in here. Fucking cool. Oh yeah, we got fucking butter cake and cookie. 
Two of the great the greats. <laughs> This is about the uh, plot of the uh, Silent Hill Arcade. <laughs> nice textures again, very nice. Yeah. A boat with passengers on it. Sunk. Fashion magazine down there too. Hey. Uh, one time I totally missed getting this gun and I felt like a big doofus. A big old doof doof. I had to rely on the shotgun for the rest of the game when it came to bosses and stuff. Oh, fan art? Why is he still alive? Why do they keep coming back to life? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, Lord Smaff. It he, and he falling into action. Let me grab this. <laughs> wow, look at him go. Majestic, <laughs> a majestic fall from James. <laughs> That's great, thank you so much. Love it, love it, Lord Smav. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I should reload my goon. Ugh, dude. Man, that sucks. Let's just leave. <laughs> Man, that sucks. <laughs> Speaking of graceful, it's fucking fired at nothing. I love the- I wish you could see into the reception, like, area. Because I assume this is the front door to the prison. Or something of that sort. Okay, time to make a door handle. <laughs> this is like one of the funniest things in a video game ever. We melt the wax doll and we shove a horseshoe in there. I mean... Duh. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> and now it's time for holes. Oh, thank you, Yzigra. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, why, if Pyramid Head has a tongue, we never see him enjoying a nice ice lolly. Uh, you're going to have to rely on fan art for that. Sorry. <laughs> You got your good old corpse holes. You know. Love these feeties. So many feeties. I, I love how quiet this room is. Like, one of my favorite rooms. Because it's like, it's so quiet. It would be so easy to jump scare the player in here, there, but there is none. There is no jump scare here, but it's just like, whoa. Corpse holes, little feet's coming out of them. Oh, yo, yo, no sound at all. Just terrible. Um, this corpse into this hole? <laughs> and they kind of reused it for Silent Hill 3. They had a very similar... A uh, corpse room, a room full of corpses, stacks of corpses in in body bags, and none of them move, and there's no sound in the whole room, basically. Yolo. <laughs> All right, this is the labyrinth portion. After we go down these holes. Wife guy, go! Yeah, I like uh, Silent Hill's general tendency to not remark on creepy things. Because like, hey, guess what? If you explain it, it's not scary no more. <laughs> Uh, 
Time for a long elevator ride where nothing happens. I think it was a homecoming that had a long elevator ride, but you had to, uh, <laughs> you had to fight. You had to shoot needlers like the entire time they were busted in through the sides and stuff. It's an action horror game. It's not a survival horror game. Mm-hmm. I mean, this whole section... I mean, the whole game is, you know, highlighting James's mindset and... Uh, emotional despair, just general despair. Uh, but yeah, like this... This level in general is like the the most heady psychological one where it's just like symbolism, symbolism, symbolism. We are delving deep. You are going down. You are going to the darkest parts of your brain here, dude. And you are going to face some stuff, right? Right? Ah, <laughs> oh, the maw. Think about that maw. Think about those beans. Who else? Whom stills? Ah, I thought so. Oh, I thought there was a health drink down here. My bad. Anyway, it's the labyrinth. It's not nearly as labyrinthine as uh, the name implies. Don't you worry. This is where we get the great knife. I was wrong. There's three places where the mandarins show up. <laughs> Recently, Masahiro Ito tweeted... Oh, these look really great now. Oh, wow. Those are gorgeous. Foreshadowing Mary over here. Um, Masahiro Ito, the concept artist of this game, recently tweeted that you may notice that there are, like, scissors and stuff around here. Well, actually, they're forceps. couple no I don't know but there's like forceps and stuff here he said that um pyramid head's knife the great knife is actually one half of scissors if you look at it it is one half of scissors isn't it <laughs> it's got a hole in the center where you'd put a screw that would be the fulcrum for a pair of scissors weird scissors but scissors Ain't that something? Not that knife, the bigger one. Wielded by Pyramid Head. That's where he first calls him Pyramid Head. Hard to use, but lethal. Yeah, it looks so small when you grab it, but it's like freaking hilarious. Love that camera angle. <laughs> Woof. Hi. Ugh, cut the cake. <laughs> mm, we're not going to be using it, though. It's too unwieldy. Anyway, here comes PH to be like, My shit! I stole my freaking junk! We're not sticking around, though. <laughs> my shit! Oh, this is the other side of the same circular room. Why do they keep respawning? Fuck off, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Fucking expertly done. Did I just... 
get both of them? Oh no, I didn't. That would've been fucking cool. <laughs> if I had done that, that would've been rad. I think it's, uh, a, not annoying or anything. I think it's, um, a letdown that you can't use the great knife to, uh, cut the wires that are in your way. This is the other puzzle that, uh, the developers of, uh, the medium stole. Just out and out stole. But it's harder in, in, uh, this game. Okay, I need to line up that top door with that top door. So... Need to rotate twice, rotate twice, basically. Was it twice? <laughs> Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yep, I did it. <laughs> I did not like the medium. No, I'm sorry to say, Stevie Ray <laughs> did not did not like it. It was very derivative, and it wasn't scary. No, not at all. It stole a lot of ideas, and it was boring. Oh my god! It's like, it, let alone that it's not like a scary game, and it stole a bunch of stuff. Even if I did not care about that stuff, the medium is so boring. It was so dull. I could not believe how boring that that game was. <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't know a game could be that physically boring. <laughs> While thinking it was really interesting too, which is even more insulting. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? <laughs> that thing, it's it stabbed, stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? I also think that was good line read. Stabbed you! It chased us to the elevator, and James, then... James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey. <laughs> James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Bam, wham, 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 wham. So, you're Maria. You're not a clever man, James. I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. <laughs> it doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Uh-huh. Don't you want to touch me? I'm, I'm good. I don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. I mean, you could okay. do a couple things, right but there. I I'll don't... There soon. I don't think I'm in the mood. I was just fighting a lot of heinous creatures, so it's kind of a boner killer that, um... I mean, they're writhing and screaming and... I mean, you just wait there. I'll be right there. <laughs> I can't not watch that cutscene. It's so good. Give me those. Dumpty dum. I'm getting laid later. Dumpty dumpty dum. Happy boy. <laughs> dumpty dumpty dum. Can't talk. Going to sex. <laughs> oh, I missed my turn. Because I was thinking about going to sex. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look at me. My gun was not loaded because I was thinking about all the sex I'm about to have. <laughs> Oh. 
Dumpty Dumpty Dum. Uh, I forget where that goes. Oh, am I going backwards? No, this is just an ammo room. Well, pfft. sometimes it is. At least I thought, <laughs> I thought there would be ammo in here. Well, maybe I'm just full of crap. <sighs> See, I thought there was another potential med kit down this way. Nope. Just a guy. Pyramid head is around here now, isn't he? Pretty sure he is. And what a surprise it is to see him! Oh, not you. First time you run to Pyramid Head down here. Uh, quite a shocker, I'll have you know. I think this means we're on the right track. <laughs> Right place. <laughs> we need the key of liberation soon, don't we? Um, uh, uh, hang on a second. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Damn! Every dead end, I think, has stuff in it. None of them have stuff in it. I am a fool. Dodged. Sick dodge, James. Another sick dodge from the J-Man. Wow, nothing can stop him. The wife guy has thoroughly logged on. Damn it. <laughs> Oops. Here I go. Oops. Wow, thank you for not- <laughs> for choosing not to hurt me, mister. <laughs> Oops. This guy, however, he's doing his job. Okay. <laughs> We're doing it. This is Pyramid Head Place. I think. Oh yeah, look at that. This is exactly where I want to be. Um, save. This is exactly the place I wanted to get to. Ah, lumberjack. Fucker deserved it. <laughs> fucking incestuous rape man got fucking killed by his victim. His bullshit. He fucking deserved to get stabbed real good. Um. But yeah, this is where I wanted to get up to. Because I wanted footage of uh, Abstract Daddy. Uh, content warning. <laughs> For implied incestuous rape. <laughs> oh, what a cool critter.
It's nice and slow because I'm on easy mode. Ah. My head is in the crevice. <laughs> uh, really nommed me there. Eh. Hey, man. Give me a break. Ah, he's so big. Okay, I think I'm out of shots now. And also, I turned off my flashlight by accident. I'm lazy playing this. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, I agree from the mazes. That's exactly what I feel like they did, and also, um, it was a genius move to make this thing as disgusting as possible, because you don't want to make a rape monster that is in any way titillating. <laughs> It's a bad idea. Don't put boobs on anything no, that is supposed to represent something around. horrible. I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? Right. I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Angela's such a good character. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. And yeah, she's right. Like, you know, James doesn't care about her. He cares about not seeing a scene. Angela. Don't touch me! You're not a nice guy. Fuck you. I think they recently fixed the shadows in the most recent patch that I don't have. Your wife so they're less uh, polygonal. Right? Right? <laughs> yes. Your Australian she snuck out there, Donna. <laughs> Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never. I never. Right? <laughs> you said your my wife Mary was dead. Right? Right, mate? <laughs> Donna Burke, by the way, the voice actress, uh, is Australian. And also uh, the voice of the Shinkansen train in Tokyo, Japan. And she sounds so lovely on the Shinkansen train. Um... And also the voice of the iDroid in MGS5. And also, uh, Incredible Singer. This room. <laughs> oh, this room, man. What a room. It's really, uh, it's really confrontational, you know? Like, you know what it means, but you're still like, oh, God, I don't want to believe that this is what this means. You know, like, it's, that's awful. <laughs> like, but yeah, what a what a scene, what a character, what a room. Iconic, iconic, iconic. Yeah, extremely obvious symbol. Like, you know, it's very on the nose. It wants you to know what it's what it's putting down, but it's like in never is any of this sexy? Like, how unsexy is this? You know? There's no way to get off on, like, any of this rape backstory, and I feel like that's 
very clever to to make sure that there's you don't see a booby ever. That's the instant you see a booby, somebody's gonna jerk off to it, you know. Not titillating. Yeah, mechanical, you know. It's awful. I love this duct tape door. This is such a great texture. Oh, what the fuck? Sean from YouTube. Thank you. What's up, dude? Thanks for the raid. I changed I changed the <laughs> I finally put uh, Did you notice I finally fixed my raid uh thing so I actually have a <laughs> I actually have a thing that's uh that tells you when people are raiding me. Thanks, dog. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, it's no longer, uh... Well, I think, uh, Crash Bandicoot is still around, but it, it wasn't for raiding, it was for something else. What the fuck was it? I don't know. Anyway, it's an easy puzzle. But I still might have to write it down, I don't know. Um... So, this guy's a thief, everyone remember that. <laughs> I'll just write it down, ugh. I don't remember how easy this is on easy mode. I put all the puzzles on easy mode because I just want to get through the game. Thief. This guy... is a counterfeiter. Sorry to everyone who just came in. I'm playing this game on the easiest possible difficulties. It's very cowardly, I know. Kidnapper. Arsonist. Swindler. <laughs> you swindler. I've not played What Remains of Edith Finch. I've heard pretty good things about it. Bodily injury. Okay. Forgot one of them was a bodily injurer. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, he did it. Okay. <laughs> I remember that the bodily injurer is like not an answer in any in any permutation of this. So far as I remember. Yeah, I have heard it is quite good. Uh, something they changed recently with the more recent enhanced edition update that I do not have installed yet is they changed the grime on this uh, this sign here. Because uh, you can't fucking read it. <laughs> Especially uh, the important part, which is about the missing child, was nowhere to be found. So there's no proof of his guilt. So the kidnapper is the innocent party. And you can still read it like this, but... Notice, only the sinless one can help you. <laughs> Your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange if you fuck up. Uh, which basically means they spawn an abstract daddy outside, I believe. Pretty sure it's an abstract daddy. Alright, so Kidnapper was in this spot. If only I could line it up right. Good sound. Ooh, I love that noise. It's a good one. But yeah, they couldn't they couldn't find the kid that was kidnapped, so they just got a stranger from out of town and said, uh, he did it. <laughs> yep. The bodily injurer. He always he always does it though. Alright, got a key. It's for this. <laughs> Tag yourself on the bodily injurer. Um, mm. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Scree! Is Pyramid in here yet? Come on. I haven't seen him all day. <laughs> 
I know, the nicer graphics do look weird, don't they? <laughs> I'm gonna get some water while this cutscene's playing. Maria? Oh, dang! <laughs> Maria? Ah, crud! <laughs> Maria, no! Not again! What I miss? Oh my god, Maria, not again! <laughs> so no sex, I guess? None mood? <laughs> oh, thanks, Rockabilly Hippie! Mary. Thanks for saying so. Yeah, this is the second time on this stream that she's died. She's just so accident prone, isn't she? There's nothing else for me in this room. Not even sex. Turns out there's no sex in this room. Dang it. <laughs> uh, if you if you do that, if you try to go back in the room, you're more likely to get the Maria ending. It's actually a little bit hard to get. Because uh, most people just play play like a non-dipshit and uh, heal themselves when they're hurt and stuff like that. Oh, I could have used one of these on Maria. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> How did 5G do this to her? <laughs> if you don't know, the voice actor slash body actor for James Sunderland is a conspiracy theorist nutjob. And that's a shame. Isn't that a shame, everybody? <laughs> it's a real, that's a darn shame. <laughs> You hate to see it happen. <laughs> anyway, let's go into my grave. These other ones are for Eddie and Angela. Oh, it's time to fight Eddie already, speaking of uh, Eddie. Yeah, I guess I'll use the rifle. Why not? Yeah, kind of a happy little accident that they hired <laughs> a big weird dumbass <laughs> to play a big weird dumbass. <laughs> He's super tinfoil hatty, man. He's absolutely hey, off the deep end. It's a shame. Talking? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. And he's also just a jerk. You're like he's really um he tries to be really intimidating toward people sick. who don't like, you know, Bow suck his out. dick, man. <laughs> like he's really mean. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. He he was he he like I've been threatened by Guy Sehe is what I'm saying. <laughs> Guy Sehe, the the actor of James Sunderland, has given veil sent me veiled threats before, and it made me think, what is my life? <laughs> and a corpse can't laugh. And a corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. Someone's you cruising too. for a bruising, Did James. You James? <laughs> hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. I'll kill you, James. I love that line. I'll kill you, James. No, you don't. Not unless I kill you first. I love how much he is aiming down the barrel. He's like fucking four feet away. 
Oops. <laughs> I had to reload. Give me a second, Eddie. <laughs> um, I forget the exact nature of the veiled threat, but it was... <laughs> he was, uh... He tried to intimidate me into uh, telling him my real name, and he, because on on Facebook you're not allowed, or at the time you were not allowed to have um, like a clearly fake internet handle as your username, because my name was Void Burger on Facebook, and I changed it to Vanessa Burger, and once you do that, Facebook's just like, oh, okay, that's a real name. You're you're not banned anymore from Facebook. So my name was Vanessa Burger on Facebook, and he was being kind of threatening to me. And he was like, is Vanessa your real name? And I said, yes, it is, actually. And he fucking believed me. <laughs> he believed my name was Vanessa Berger. <laughs> and I just I had to lie directly to his face. <laughs> he was like, what am I going to do? Dox myself to, to fucking James Sunderland? No. <laughs> what a doof. Picked on. I took screenshots. I don't even remember what he was talking about. It was fun. Oh yeah, there's definitely someone out there named Vanessa Burger, but it's just like, man, like this is so obvious in this situation. Like this is so obviously a fake name. <laughs> Sorry. He believed me though, because he was being like intimidating, so he thought he intimidated that out of me. <laughs> mm. Football, much left to that knee. Well, it's a little too late for that. I'm already in Silent Hill. <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> You're the worst person in this room. <laughs> At least I didn't kill somebody. Like a real person. Let's party. <laughs> Don't bring a fist to a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you gave me a boo boo. Alright, there he is. <laughs> God, dude. Your AI is being really funny right now, dude. Ah, oh, you got me. No, stop punching me. I'm delicate. <laughs> oh, I gotta reload this thing. No, stop beating me up. Why is he not using his gun at all? Oh my god, James, you call that a, sh a freaking... Call that a shot? You okay, Eddie? <laughs> Are you okay? Eddie? <laughs> I... I killed a... a human being. A human boy. A human being. A human boy. I don't know why, but this reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Mary. Did you really die three years ago? <laughs> well, to be fair, this was self-defense. <laughs> Didn't mean to fully unequip it. Great. I can't believe he doesn't take his gun. That would have been like a little too video gamey though, right? If <laughs> he took his gun. I want to look at this meat. Look at this meat. Meat is looking fine. Ooh. 
Very pleasant meat textures. Spooky meats. So yeah, after all of that descending, turns out we're on the ground level. Quasi. <clears throat> I remember uh, reading about how people do um, 10 star runs and you have to like play it on very hard and all that stuff. And basically, I think you can only make one or two saves during the game to qualify for a 10 star run. And there's much discussion about whether it makes more sense to save before or after the Eddie fight. Because if you die in the hotel, you have to do all the Eddie fight all over again. And he's kind of a bitch on a hard mode. Okay. Cool beans. Oh, should I keep playing? Wow, well, the water looks way better than the HD collection. <laughs> the water has a really a, a really garish texture on it that you can't see because of all the fog, basically. So when they made the HD collection and they fucked up the fog, in a big way, uh, you could see this really ugly repeating texture that's on the surface of the water that is normally there. Like, it's there. It's just that you can't normally see it. <laughs> Up. Immediate ca immediately capsizes. Ah, uh, James, you see, fair and man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna row across and uh, call the stream. Because I got to where I needed to be with the uh, abstract daddy boss fight. But then I got a raid from Sean. What was I gonna do? Stop? Anyway, where's the light? Yeah, James is wearing cowboy boots, hilariously. Can you believe this guy? <laughs> Can you believe this? The nerve of the fashion of this man. <laughs> a true American. Oh yeah, that, that's a pro click right there from Lord Smaff. If that is uh, truly the, the crappy water texture. that That's really what the water apparently looks like underneath these uh, fog filters. No, you can't avoid killing Eddie. That's not what I said. Just uh, whether or not you save before or after the boss fight is a, a consideration if you're doing a hard mode 10 star run, which I have never done. It seems a little too stressful. <laughs> I've never done that. Like, you know, let's let's see how hard of a game I can deal with, sort of thing. There was a way to avoid killing Eddie. You bet that would be a speedrun tactic. <laughs> I don't think there's any skips in this game that I know of. I'd have to watch a uh, GDQ or something. I keep missing the Silent Hill block because they always played at fucking like three in the morning. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be awake at three in the morning to watch a Silent Hill speedrun. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, Silent Hill 3 has some really cool skips in it that seem uh, incredibly hard to do. Mm-hmm. I agree, Yzigra. That, that boat ride where you just have to, like, sit with the guilt of having killed a person. Or James's guilt of having killed a person. It's good stuff. Really good stuff. Before we go in here, we really ought to collect this. This. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> how do you pronounce your name? Yiza? Yiza? I don't know.
Oh, the eddies of the lake. Ah, I didn't even, I didn't even read the pun. <laughs> I was just like, no, yeah, you're right. Like, it's cool that it's just this quiet, it's quiet time. It's reflection time. Waiting for you. They, they fixed this map texture. This looks very nice. Wow. That's a very nice map texture. Holy moly. Yes, there are multiple hyper sprays of uh, varying strength. I've only gotten, like, I think the most basic bitch one. <laughs> Maybe the second most basic bitch one? There's, like, a yellow one or something? I don't know. But that is the stream for today. I am sleepy. I am a sleepy hoe. <laughs> I forget what my best time was for beating Silent Hill 2. I know I beat Origins once, like, in two hours flat somehow. Just to see how fast it could go. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everybody. Still working on the next little, little video essay thingy, which is also about um, the Maw, but it's more about more about the Maw's character design and how it's just kind of a fucking mess, um, in general. <laughs> so, just from, just from, like, a concept art character design perspective, it's not, it's not good. It's trying to emulate, like, the Silent Hill, like, ooh, look at this thing, it means something sort of style, and it's just like, no, no, there's too much here. <laughs> no way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm working on that. It's not, it's not as fancy as the Puzzle of Flesh one. It's on the same level of production value as the, uh, the Maw vs. PH video. So, look forward to it. Should be cool. Um, it's about a third done right now. But, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to Sean for the, um, cool raid. That was fun. And thanks for all the, the subscribers and the bits and, and the, all that stuff. That's cool as heck. Sorry for streaming on a completely random day like this, but need, need to see different people in the chat when, when you do that. Um, but yeah, see you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.